I'm going to try to long haul this tonight and finish it before my work week comes out. Or comes out. Finish it before my work week starts. And then hopefully I can finish this and have it all done to you and out and uploaded onto the channel as soon as I'm done my work week. That's the hope. We'll see. Okay. I don't know where we were, so you're going to have to be really patient with me. I got to remember controls. Okay, give this to your father. I know we read this. At least I'm saying we did. Okay. I was watching people play this on the PC, and it's so fucking cool. The things they changed. The, uh, the amount of things they changed as well. For example, there, there's things that just aren't there. I'm trying to think of one. Like, I was watching Septica. He played it. Wow, it's, it's just so much different. Uh, if, I, if I come across one of the rooms, I'll show you what I mean. He found, like, some porn. Some softcore porn, and I, I didn't find it. Like, he was really looking around in a different way. It's so amazing how people think, because... Everybody has their own little way of hiding stuff. Their own little secrets, their own little... It's so incredible. And it really... And I didn't even think of some things that he did, but I guess being a PC gamer, he's used to this style, you know? I'm not. And for example, I thought I had to put... I do have to put him down. How do... How did... Yeah. So, I, I can't move with it. Unless there's some objects I can. When he had a book, he could move with it. I can't move with it on the, on the console. Let me see. Yeah, that must be a, a fucking PC thing. He could move into the light. I, if, if you can do that, I can't figure out how. Like, he could actively move while holding something. Like, say he picked this up. Yeah, we read this. This. Oh, you can. You son of a bitch. You, you let go of L2. Okay. Well played. The Dave Rubrek Quartet. You have a map yet? Yes, you do. You do not have panels, but you do have the secret door. So let's go to the library and check out that. That's the floor we are on. Yes. So left and right. Do 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 do. Tell mom and dad about the shit that's missing. Yep yep. Coupons for what? Uh. There's an easier way to flip this. I do like a Rubik's cube. Tortilla chips. Who the fuck saves money on tortilla chips? I grew up poor. You don't save fucking money on tortilla chips. I don't know. That's a new one for me. I've never seen anybody go, Oh my god, these tortilla chips are insane. <laughs> Sorry if you're that family that it is, but I've never seen it. Hey, Lonnie. Oh, wait. Here's your Street Fighter move. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon. That would be cool. I can drive, so it's kind of far, but I still can drive you home, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after six. Okay. Alright, so we want to look for... I'm having the same fucking problem again. The Bluetooth isn't able to see. Kiss and ride. No, you don't, Queenie. Queenie love. Polaroid baby. Panic bitch. Bitch theme. Nice. I like that one. Dude, I want to hear the bitch theme. Are all these songs actually actively, like, out here? You said I wanted to go to the library, which I... I gotta go to fucking dad's office to get to the library. Why is this a thing? Why do I have fucking inventory? Let's check the library. It's my only lead at the moment. No, I wanted to see what... Okay, yeah, we, de we definitely read this. Close that. No? Really? I thought for sure that newspaper would be pertinent. Maybe I should put the reticle back on. Okay. What's this? 
Okay. I was hoping this would get done, but it still says particular, so it's not... It's not actually getting typed up or anything. I don't know what's going on. I want to... What the... Whoa. I didn't know about this. One Arbor Hill, Boone County, Oregon. Okay. Terrence Greenbrier. Okay. What do we got? Oh, fuck. I write on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reached me that you're newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have had more than a little time to consider my best in my family, my past in my family, I guess. And I'll talk to, have, I, I can't fucking read this. Suck my dick. So glad I found that. I was so excited, you fucking dick. Well, already it does seem to be making a difference that... Yeah. That I have the reticle. Nothing? Okay. Now what we were actually in here for is this. Did we do the panel yet? Okay. Huh? Yeah, this is one of them. This is where Jack found something I didn't find. Let's see if it's here. Is it? Is it here? Oh, yeah, it is. Wow. I didn't find this. <laughs> Gentlemen, Moscow by night. Naughty girl. Okay, let's go. Oh, what? I didn't mean to do that. That's probably going to be my thumbnail. <laughs> People are, oh, and they'll click on it. They will. You watch. So we definitely found the panel, so... I don't know if I need to... Is it? Okay. So... Okay, go up. What the fuck do I need to do? Now I should be finding panels, correct? I would assume I'm, I'm looking for the panels now. And then we should be back downstairs and back exactly where we were. I'm sorry it's taking so long, but we're finding stuff we didn't find before, which I think is exhilarating. And I really want to know what's going on. I don't really care that she's a lesbian or any of that. I don't, it doesn't bother me. I want to see her life. I like hearing her stories. I want to see how her life turned out. In here? I wish I, I, wish I knew where these sounds were coming from. Yep. We read that, definitely. Yep, looks like that's what we're doing. We're looking for panels. Private, do not raid. Did we read? Oh, did we read this one? Allegra and her scouty party. Scouty party, really? Allegra and her scouting party peered wearily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls, off the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed. Such lushness, juxtaposed, I definitely remember this, with the frigid ice formations. Yeah, we definitely read this. Shit. Yeah, we read this. Okay. Just what the... Oh, yeah. It's, it's fuck creepy that you remember that. Okay. I'm just gonna hit all the fucking panels. I'm gonna fucking play this game. Hitting all the fucking panels. Hitting all of them. And then we'll go in there and we'll hit that. Hey, 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 hey. Huh? So I thought there was one here. You, you still can't go in there, right? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I don't fucking remember anything. There's no panel in here. Alright. Oh my god. I just want to finish this baby. Let's go upstairs, I guess. So I don't see anything else to look at down here. I, uh, we're looking for the locker combo, which is so funny because I know it. 
Oh, this is the dude. This is their uncle, I guess. Alright. Yeah, I'm sorry, I gotta piece it back together again. I know I should have all, all done it in one go. I didn't have the option. I didn't have the luxury. You know, I don't, I don't get to do this for a living like some lucky people. But I still get to do it and share it with you. So. This I don't fully understand. Because itinerary doesn't necessarily mean she did this. Is what she was hoping to do. Right? I mean, good God. It's like she wanted to go everywhere. I don't know. I'm so fucking confused. It's like she planned all that, but she probably went nowhere. She probably got there, went to one restaurant, was like, eh, I'm bored. And then didn't do anything else. Now you read that. There's something he found in here that I didn't find. So everything seems to be the same. It's just extra stuff, I guess. I guess I was wrong. I'm not afraid to admit that. I'm not perfect. Now we need to figure out the locker combo so that we can get in that door. Okay. It's kind of like having a mouse. Still think it's from Guacamole. And up here. <laughs> I'll probably even try to put in there, skip this part if you... Yeah, because it's, it's really me trying to catch back up and figure out where I was. See, this is why I keep it. Because I don't know why I keep finding this shit I never saw. We were in a cooking club. Where mom was. Cooked the big meal for the... For Terry and the family. Okay. How is there this much content in here? This is going to be another one of those titles where people are discovering shit for, for years. I'll tell you, man. I was playing Witness. Oh, my God. There's so much fucking substance to that game. I started out all angry against it. Like, this game sucks. Shouldn't pay 40 bucks. You should. Jesus Christ. They busted their ass, man. Bullshit, there's got to be one near this. Really? I find that hard to believe. Where is the other locker combination, you bitch? What's this? Oh, so that's what she thinks Allegra and the, cap er, Allegra and the first mate look like. And there's the, the costume. Jesus Christ, it's not just a book, you lived it. I think the other thing Jack found that I didn't was the damn tent. Heavens to Betsy. There's like a little fort they built for their paranormal research. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed this thing in the jigger. That's what we just found. Okay. What the hell? I don't know why I keep getting those buttons confused. What's this? Looks like I read it, but I just want to see. <laughs> Nipples. Ah. And this is the so no, it's not the sewing table. What is this? Oh, it was one. Holy shit! All right. Trying to be careful, man. I thought I'd be able to see pretty well. Obviously, I couldn't. Heavens to Betsy, nothing can stop. I want to see bitch. Where's the bitch theme? I, I want to hear that. I'll actually listen to the whole thing. I want to hear it. Now, his dad. Her dad is good at evaluating stereos. Okay. hell didn't I grab? Fuck! These are the sightings. <gasps> God damn that storm! Okay. I want to wait till this clip ends before I close it just in case we didn't find this. I'll see you guys in a second.
Damn, we found it before. Damn it! Damn it! How long have you lived here? I don't get it. Jesus. It's like you put the boxes, then the bed there. Holy shit. It's the way we came from? No. I'm assuming that's the end game. I don't know why. I think the attic's the end game. Everything was period related. Shut up. I don't, I don't know why I picked up the tampon. I don't even have a fucking reason. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't even have one. I don't remember what the fuck we're doing. Did she like to dye her hair red? Guess that one's broken. I guess it actually is. Okay. I thought maybe something was jamming it, but no. Yep, she, she dyed her hair like Paramore. Not tested on animals. Bah! Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and... I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. Pretty sweet. Uh, we never found that either. See what I'm talking about? It, how much is missing in this game? And I love these little moments. It is true, man. Like, you ever... I, I can speak from... I wonder if that's why a lot of people are scared to get their hair cut and they wait so long. But it's one of my favorite reasons why I like getting my hair cut. It's such an intimate thing. That's why every time they do it, they have to talk. Because otherwise, it's just so odd. Sam, I think the creative writing is perfect for you. Okay. But yeah, it really is. Like that's why they always have to talk and cuz it's it's just such an intimate thing. I feel, I I feel as well. So I don't remember the combination. We have most of it. 51 501 so What? I don't think this is right. God damn it! What's in here? Huh? What's in here? What? Fucking witness. Oh man. I, I thought I was, I was like, uh, draw a line from here to here. <laughs> Give me it. Bye. that to be something I'm missing. What's this? Frame threads. I don't remember this. Hey, I want to make sure I, I didn't read this before I do. Yeah, it looks like I did. Because then... Quick salute and a wink and dashed off. Yeah, we read that. Okay. So make sure... I like those stories, and a lot of people skip them. And I, I really like those stories. But when I was a kid, I wrote these kind of stories. Not those kind of stories, but I wrote stories too. Samantha. Yep. Remember that as well. Okay. Oh, man. Is this going to trigger a memory? Mitten. Cool. No, really? That should trigger a memory, me. Me. Did 
Nothing. I I can't stand people to do this shit. Why are you gonna put your drink near your fucking TV? If that shit spills, your TV's fucked, your VCR's f It's fucking stupid. I hate when people do that shit. Come over and they're like, oh, I'll put a drink on this. That's a surround sound center, you jackass. Bitch, team? No. Bah. So see that letter there. Not sure if I saw that before. Let's see if we did. Yeah, Chung Lee moves. It's like she's trying to hide him. I guess to pretend she. Oh, I knew that move. You didn't, <laughs> you idiot. Says. All right. Go to this room. Shit. Yes. What the fuck are we missing? Locked, locked. Locked. You're not even marking... Are those the panels? Wait. I don't know what the fuck we're looking for. One of the secrets was in Dad's room, though, right? Damn it! Trying to think of what we need to do. I don't want to fucking re- uh... Also, you gotta think, it's been a week up since I played. I'm also tired. I'm trying to kind of like power th through this. I had to have missed one of these panels somewhere. There's got to be another panel down here. A panel that leads to that locker, which will lead me to what I need. There's got to be There's got to be another fucking panel I missed. There's got to be. I refuse to fucking believe there's not. Fucker. Check in here again. There's gotta be something else we missed. Something somewhere. There we go. Sweet. What's this? Ghost Hunters, Sam and Lonnie, Secret House Investigation Log. Hidden compartments found three. There's one in the library, the upstairs hall, and the foyer. Evidence of the supernatural discovered none. The search continues. Okay. So now you mark them? Nope. Okay. It's not like it's a room we haven't been in. It's so weird. I tried to hit X, and then it doesn't work, so my brain automatically hits circle, because it's a duty head. Fuck a stupid brain. Come on. Alright, I guess I'll try to read this. I don't think we read this, did we? Yeah, we keep your chin up. That sounds like something I read. I'm gonna go with that. That sounds like something I read. Looking for, I guess, one more panel. To finish this goddamn puzzle. I think that's all we need is a panel. Alright. It's my guess. It seems like we've done... been everywhere.
Walt Whitman. Wow, leaves of grass. I know we found that before. I thought last time I found this, she marked the panels, but she didn't this time. Go back in there. I thought that was opening. It scared the living fuck out of me. You didn't find something. I have to click on this, don't I? Dumbass. Alright. Okay, so... Figure out which one we didn't get. Best way to do that is just hit each one. Then we should have the combination. Then we should be able to move on. Then we'll be back exactly where we were, but we did. I, I found a lot of stuff I didn't find before. Like this. Was that there when we went in there originally? Was that the noise I heard? Mitten? I don't remember that being... They... I'm getting the chills, man. I'm getting the fucking chills. Okay. We are in Mom and Dad's. Alright. So, out uh, here. No. Sam, stop leaving every damn light in the house on. You're as bad as your sister. Daniel called again. Okay. Daniel really likes her. Poor kid. In here. Yep. How is it in here? It's on the other side of here? Sam's room. Yep, okay, right here. What the? What just happened? Oh, I think I put it. I don't know why that confuses the fuck out of me, but it does. Goodbye. Is that all actually on there? Wow. Bah! Hello? Hello? Who are you? Oscar. What do you want to come back? Okay. What is it? 0501. Okay. Well, this was her room right here, wasn't it? <laughs> wow, that was convenient. So that's Lonnie, okay. Lonnie came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this girl, man. Get off me, fucker! This girl's awesome. Alright, what else we got? Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna put the outros like normal. I just wanna check this out. I wanna finish this. Alright, this clip is in here. I'll see you guys in a second. Is that what I just heard? There was nothing wrong? Is that what you just did? Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. Okay. I need a drink. Try to make sure you guys can't see that I'm not wearing pants. It gets hot in here. Don't judge. I'm wearing boxers. Come on. Calm down. What the fuck? Yeah, when I was a kid, I didn't really have a mom growing up. So I had a lot of problems understanding women more so than other men. Like, just, I, everything was a mystery to me. Everything. I don't know. I think I love that fact. It makes me appreciate them more than most. And dear Samantha, I would cordially, yeah, I know we read this. Mr. DeZoto, Ms. DeZoto? Rice? You're named after Rice? Yeah, we definitely read that, okay. I know we were looking at an obituary. We never found that. It's different now. Is that the tattoo? I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. Sam and Lonnie. But now when no one else is around... I thought I was Katie. Well, you know... So you could say we're dating, but it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Yeah, I think when it's pure story, story, pure story games like this, I think I want to... What, why can't I reach it? Come on. When it's pure story like this, I think I want to do away with the like, subscribe, share, comment. I just want to share the experience with you guys. So. That's Caitlyn. Guess I got Caitlyn on the brain. First. Alright. Nothing. Half expecting hidden panels down here, too. I mean, she's never been down here. But I, I don't know. Had no idea what to do when we hit down here. But we really didn't try to figure it out. I have no idea what time it is, so... I don't see the sun, so we're okay. I know we read this. Congratulations on your admission and best Wes's, Wes's wishes from us all. I'm so stupid sometimes. We I was telling are. Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans, like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. It's so funny reading this because I love this one right here. Because all the people that miss the stories, they're missing, not necessarily, the game is what you make of it. But it's so cool that... She was so good at writing stories, and it really, this the stories in this game are fucking excellently written. Expertly written. But, it's pretty awesome that that alone got 75% of her tuition covered. That's how good her fucking stories were, and I really see so. That's, that's what I try to do with my voice. I try to put the emotion behind, because she really thought those stories out. Whoever wrote them thought them out hardcore. Granddad's books, huh? Green dick. <laughs> Get out of here, green dick. Alright. That's creepy. Can't read this. 1956. Make it up. Okay. I'm confused. Is this Lonnie's stuff or. Because that, that kind of looks like. I don't know. It looks like men's dress shirts, though. Why is it down here? Stuck to what? Oh, a letter stuck to it. Thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. Yeah, okay. Not doing well with your book. We read that before. Book sucks shit. 
Daddy's not good at writing book. All right. Let's do that next. I'm under so much pressure here. Cause the fucking camera battery does not last long, and I want to fucking do this. I really like the story. What's this? Oh. Yolanda De Soto. Okay. Miss Samantha Greenbrier. Jesus Christ. Today's Spanish lesson. Te amo? No, it's... Yeah, Te amo. I love you. I'm so happy you like the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You'd love Mexico. I think, probably. The nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on the, the ship, the mysterious island, where even the plants are out to get him. Yeah, I think we read this, but I want to read it again. And then I think, oh my god, I can hear something on my left side over here. The time we had together, but then in the wilderness together, and I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed, and I, I almost can feel you. I've been trying to save it, save it for when we are together again. I haven't done a good job, okay, but I tried. This letter is written like she's crying. Like, you know how... I, for men, it's not really as easy to, to say. But, because men don't... Normally, if they cry, they won't fucking do anything. But, I mean, you think about it. You can't write straight when you cry. And that's why it's worded poorly and it's not straight. And That's fucking awesome. I mean, the amount of detail. Okay, enough about that. Your last letter got to me today. But before we start driving back north, we'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm thinking of taking tons of photo. We'll have so much fun in the dark room. Love, Lonnie. So the Lonnie is the, the Lonnie. The dark room is probably key to the end of this game. So that's pretty cool. I never noticed that before. How the words are like that, and the reason they would be like that. Because also, if you look up, it's real easy to read. Dear Sam, like it's real dark and it's real heavy drawn in. But then the emotions start hitting in, and she's getting teary eyed and. Wow, I've actually never seen anybody put that kind of thought behind anything in a game before. Girl Scout, the band, the band formerly known as Cub Scout. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like... Probably, but she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now, and I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today And she's actually really amazing I feel so Proud when she's on stage It's incredible being in awe of someone you love So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June But till then I'm gonna be at every single show The shoppers of Main Street were surprised today at the announcement that Mason, Mason's, Mason's Pharmacy would change ownership for the first time since it opened 10 years ago. Rumors swirled that a sudden sale of the pharmacy was transacted for a song. When asked about speculation of the deal had been signed for as little as one dollar. That's not that, well I guess for a store, no it's still not that little for back then. Mr. Samuel Einstein, Oscar Masson, Mason's longtime assistant and now proprietor of Mason's Pharmacy, told the register the specifics will remain between myself and Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason has taken sick and was unavailable for comment. Wow, he knew he was going to die and he didn't want... He wanted to make sure somebody would take care of the place, okay? No idea where this is going to be, where this combo is going to be. Hopefully it's easy to find. That definitely say, that definitely seems readable. Okay, where's that? Hey Sam, I'm writing you from Botanama? I don't know where that is. Falls. I have no idea where that is. I'm here on a stupid class trip which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running the school has been to Oregon but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. <laughs> Wish you were here. Oh, Wait, you are here, because I'm writing this. 
You're in the gift shop. Oh shit. Here you go. <laughs> That's pretty funny. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. Oh, wow. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Is this key? Like 1210 or 10, 1965, or maybe even 1965. I don't know how the fuck this works. Shit. I want to get in that safe. I don't see anything else here, man. I guess let's go try. Now here to your right. Nope. Back here. Yeah, I'm into this, man. I like this a lot. I like how much you're learning about this, this group of people. It's fucking awesome. Huh? I thought there was a safe, like, right within view. I'm so fucking confused. I'm going back to the beginning, aren't I? This is what I did last time. It's why I stopped, because I thought I was getting so tired. But actually, this place is just confusingly designed. Stop fucking with me, ghost. I'm trying to figure out where to go. Can you move this bed? No. It's oddly out of place. What? Uh, okay. No. No. What the fuck? Where is it? Is it over here? It's definitely not over here. Oh my god. Where the hell was it? Shit. See anything that would even denote anything of a fucking password or anything or a combination. I'm trying to figure this out. I really want to fucking crack that safe. So I want to know everything I can before this ends. Is this going to be like Dear Esther or not Dear Esther? What the fuck was that game called? Ah, shit. I can't remember, but you had a disease and you're in a. a basically a facility that does nothing but watches over people with that disease this is not where I was this is not where the safe is either what the fuck is this one of these is not the way I came from it's this one okay okay what do we got here costume skeletons and devils cheerleaders from the smells like teen spirit video one girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. The Psycho House Girl. The coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one. Everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering at you walk past you because I guess they haven't heard of a peripheral. Yeah, I don't know why people do that. That's a light of mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. <laughs> That's awesome. I know what she means on that. It is it's a fucking beautiful feeling when you're in when you're in something like that. Uh oh. Okay. And this is basically gonna end. I'm gonna put like, subscribe, comment, share in here. Just to put it in here. And then because we should be near the end. And then I'm going to just long haul this. Try to finish this out. So thank you guys for watching. It may not be at the end of a video. But I just want to put it there for you. Thank you for watching guys. Seriously. I hope you enjoy this. I'll see you in the next clip. Alright. what? Ooh a pillow. Oh I'm hiding a tape. Heaven to Betsy terrorist. Where's the bitch? What? Oh.
What's this? Nothing. 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 Women Outlaws. This will show you. Runs things around this joint. She's tough, tougher than a wild Mustang. No female is gonna tell me. Yarg! Is there, no, no, there's no back. Okay. I'm just making sure. Crazy. What's this? Woohoo! Dude, it kind of looks like Vice from Skies of Arcadia. I don't know if that's what they're going for. I heard enough kicking against the Patriarch. Okay. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Wow, well, they tried to to hit it big. Wow. Holy shit. Samantha Greenbrier, okay? Dear Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed initiative as well and was well written. That scared the fuck out of me. I did start this clip. <laughs> I hope so. It was well written. But it does not change my mind on this matter. I started the clock, so hopefully I did, or I just hit start on the clock for no fucking reason. Uh, you, when you do something so much, you forget so fucking simply. You really do. Like, you just do it so much, you're like, Did I do it? <laughs> While I understand that Miss DeZoto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. Uh, yeah. The following application will be suspended for 15 minutes. What? God damn it. I'm gonna keep going. I think we're okay. I don't know. Every time I forgot that this fucking system is the one that's not activated. Because you can't activate two PS4s. Fucking assholes. Yeah, I get it, but we'll, it might kick us out. Making this a pain in the dick. This is the hardest fucking thing to play for some reason. It's not anybody... On the programming side, not Sony's fault. It's just a bunch of random shit is fucking me from finishing this Let's Play. Okay. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward, and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there's no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop, as it will only bring more unwanted attention to yourself. Which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. What? Will only bring more and more attention on yourself. Which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident. I don't understand that. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know, like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. 119 for a fucking... Wow. I'm a guy. I don't get that. Okay, what? what's this? Office... Offer of promotion. Officer of promotion. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you know how fast you were promoted? <clears throat> um, Dear head conservationist... Conservationist? Yep. Greenbrier. Due to your exemplary management of the flintlock, prescribed burn operation last year in the, sea, in the services, need for experienced personnel to direct regional operations. We would like to offer you the position of regional conservation management director responsible for operations throughout the northern, northwestern Oregon. Your assistance would be sought to fulfill, to fill your previous position on site with the flintlock at the Flintlock National Forest. Your new posting would be at the regional management building located. 128 Bullhorn Road, which should be much more convenient for your daily commute. Please resp respond as soon as possible regarding your decision. Okay. 
It really doesn't tell you shit. It's like, is it a gain? It's just more work. Is he making more money? I don't fucking get it. Come on. Wait, he's got a duck? Yeah, you got a duck. Oh, it's your Spanish book. Okay. Si habla espanol. Huh? Froth. Okay. Nothing? Alright. Nothing else. Hey Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away and then when she is home she takes it out on you like because you're not a member of the family. She knows you won't call her on it and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I know. She's just jealous of our... Cool and freewheeling lifestyles. I feel so I feel sorry for you, but I'm likely My mom lives in Florida. You have I don't know what the fuck it says, you have every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her Eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? No! Wow, okay. And that's that. So I have nothing to go on now? There's a whole nother part to the house. Okay. I'm hoping this leads us to the goddamn dark room. What am I hearing? Okay. Okay. Mr. and Ms. Jonathan Blair request the honor of your presence at the Marriage of their daughter, Helen and Mr. Richard Norris, Patreon, Sunday the 4th of June 19th, okay, blah, blah, all right. Sam's schedule, working on Crown Burger, okay. Thought I was reading the card. Nothing. Ah, uh, look, they get frequent fucking power outages, too. I hate that shit. Bah! Oh, what the hell? I'm expecting to find it here. no idea how to open that safe. That's probably the key out of here. The key out of this game, out of everything. Probably. Yeah, I don't want to grab the dustpan. That should be like the biggest secret in the game. No one grab the dustpan! <laughs> Having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on your new position. So I guess he accepted it. Director of the State Forest Service, we wish you luck in your final weeks at Flinton National and very much look forward to welcoming you in the new desk at the State Forestry. Okay, whatever. It's cool that everyone was successful, it seems. And right, what's in here? Ah, this is the accidental pariah, okay. It says, Dear Mr. Greenbrier, please let me say that I hope you... This is an old fucking letter. Hope this missive finds you well. Hell, it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not. We're not the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creepy, creeping fascist hobgoblins in... In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimensions is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We traffic in the weird, the ahead of its time, the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged-in <sighs> bibliophiles type of out their mass market stunning visionary expression that refuses to be taken anything but on its own terms. We've had an unparalleled it looks like ruin, but it's run since our inception four years ago. Unearthing and receiving Christ or zombie-like timeless 
works such as what is this shit? But ever since we discovered the tattered copies of your accidental series Church Rummage in Long Branch, New Jersey, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. It's just the kind of forgotten portal into the 20th century civilizations, anxieties, and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the dick-swinging heroes that modern suburban America wants, but John Russell, mild manner, insurance agent by day, reckless history, revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that it deserves. It is our mission to bring him back to life. Why is my land cable keep fucking scaring me? Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do we want from you? We want your permission to reprint the work. I have to fucking watch this to make sure nothing got fucked up. Since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago, we want you to supply a new foreword for the books to appear in a brand new editions of The Accidental Savior and The Accidental Pariah to be produced by an unknown dimension as a... Oh, unknown dimension. Limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. And we want to offer you a portion of the proceeds contract to follow. Assuming you are, you're interested in coming along with us on this weird odyssey. We look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting your work into screaming, thrusting your work screaming back into the war, the Sweating palms of unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Blast off. <sighs> Get tired of all these fucking warnings popping up, man. I'm trying to read, you fucking asshole. I don't want to have to put this on the other system, but I might have to. Oh, this isn't fucking creepy. It's over here. Uh, ooh. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend. Celebrating our anniversary, June 3rd to the 7th. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Oh, God. Sorry the kitchen is still Mio renovation. Never trust a contractor for $40. Oh, $40 is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. How fat do you think she is? Jesus Christ. $40 worth of pizza? Oh, I guess it's two kids. Yeah, all right. And maybe they're thinking Lonnie's there as well. Uh, three people pizza, 40 bucks is decent. Oh, oh, this helped me none. Really? Nothing else in here? I don't believe you. What's this? Name tag. Crown Burger. Ask me about the clown combos. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have... The run of the whole house till you leave. I might uh, actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musy, its musty allure, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. Lonnie, you're gross. Never change. Okay does seem like women like to do that. They're like, oh, let, let's do this in the most awkward place. Come on. I love it. I don't know why women do, but it, I, it's fun. Fun memories. I'm not saying a damn thing. Okay. I really found nothing to help me progress. And I gotta watch this video to make sure nothing is fucking corrupt. Be How did we not find this? Shit. Now this is as good a spot as any to end. i to try to figure out what's going on. I don't know why my land shit keeps popping up. And then after that, when this is kicked offline, PlayStation has copyright protection. So if it's not online long enough, it will kick you completely out of the game. And I don't know if it kicks out game share. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. Because again, even though I, I do a lot of things, add picture in picture and do some stuff, I'm still based off of PS4. So... I'll see you in the next clip, my friends. Thanks, you, thanks for watching. Later. Samantha and who? Dania? Uh, we're in the woods one day. It was sunny, and they were on another. They were on a vendor.
What are these words? They were on another, but they went to the part of the woods and it dark said you are it's good uh, I don't this is nonsense oh wow this is this is real young this is the gibberish story Daniel finally came over to get his game I'd been dreading it but he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little I started reading it and then there I was crying at the kitchen table he asked what was wrong and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and Ouch. said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. It's harsh. That's fucking harsh, man. I love this game, dude. Alright, what do we got? People are not going to call this a game, though. I'm going to tell you that right now. There's definitely going to be debate, but... Games are going above and beyond just crazy gore and crazy bullshit. People have got to understand that. I mean, ever since the Wii came out, it changed the game. It changed everything. The Wii and Indies, they changed everything. There's there's no such thing as a hardcore like there used to be a way to to basically categorize gamers. Like, oh you like this, you like platformers, you like this, you like you could always do that back in the day. There's not that anymore. There's cell phone gamers, there's hardcore gamers, there's story driven gamers, there's experienced gamers, there's there's so many different types of gamers now. And that's not to say that anyone's better than any other type. But it's just amazing how much we've evolved. I mean, just look at the stats right now. What? PlayStation 4 alone, just alone, is at 37 million. There's 37 million in homes around the world. That's fucking insane. I love it, man. And I love the new ideas that are coming out every day. Katie comes home this month. Nice. We learn nothing. I have no fucking idea. <sighs> Shit. It's really... Ooh. Is there another hidden panel? Are we near the dark room thing? No. We've not been in this side of the house, right? No, we've not. No. There, that's what. That's the dish. Is that a real person writing you, or are you making that up, the Desoto thing? Because that's sort of. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Alright, well, let's see what's in here. Okay. Doesn't seem to be kicking me out, so we'll keep going. You're not hardcore, unless you lived hardcore. But the legend of the rent was way hardcore. Oh, nice, you had a green room. My ex-girlfriend had one of these. Okay, what do we got here? What's this? Guess the notes in it. Uh, damn, trying to read to read it. Strong. I thought it said strong piss. <laughs> June third to seventh. This is where they went. Okay. I have a feeling they they never came back. The Accidental Human by Terrence Greenbrow. Oh, he, he continued his series. Uh, it's so small, it looked like just an article to me and not the whole thing anymore. This is fucking cool. Well, at least this actually insinuates a storm outside. Dear Kaz, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you've said that Unknown Dimension isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revive interest in my work was brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you would find intriguing. 
It is reflective and introspective, without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that Unknown Dimension readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue. At the very least, I am grateful to John Russell and his adventures to that they didn't come to an end quite as early as I thought they would. Whatever. It was fucking weird. Where we'll do it. Under stairs, secret door, foyer. Midnight, June 5th, final preparations are complete. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. Is that how it goes? she cried too. Yep. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that. In her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Alright, I think we're heading to the, the attic now. I'm not sure. This is really fucking tugging at my heartstrings, man. I really like this a lot. I think it was up here and to the right. We never got in over there either, but we never got a key either. I never got the fucking combination to the over there. To the, uh, the safe. Still a good bit left to explore. I don't know if we're done. I don't know what it marked on the fucking map. It's still red. It's not gonna let me up there. Fuck am I doing? What in the hell did you mark? I don't understand what you marked. Go all the way to the bottom. Servants' quarters, maybe? Maybe that's where I'm going? I think servants' quarters is where we're going. Let's try it. So all the way down. I don't understand this at all. Where the hell am I going? Oh my god. Probably so close to the end. I don't I don't want to give up, man. I want to see what's up. Don't feel like this is gonna end happy though. Okay, there was another door locked over here. I just want to make sure it didn't open. This game is very bizarre. Okay, wow, they do look alike. They really do. They did a good job on the likeness. I wonder if this is a real family somewhere. They just use their likeness, you know? I wonder. Or if they actually, like, completely fabricated them. I have no idea. Didn't say so in the, in the opening. Normally it does. This is good. This may be. Yeah, keep going. I, I wanted to go to the servants' quarters anyways, because I think that's where we're going. Alright. This way? No? My guess. I have no fucking idea. This is the servants' quarters. We've been here. Shit, I don't know what it marked now. What new do you see? fuck is the point of this? Are you telling me where to go? 
I don't even... I have no idea. I'm gonna try 1956. It's all I can think of. I have no idea if it's correct. I have no fucking clue what this could be. Damn! Really thought that might be it. So you can't fucking see anything, do anything in here. Shit. I have no fucking clue what to do, man. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is to go back and maybe I just... I, I have no idea what it marked. I have no fucking clue what it marked. So we're going to go back to that piece. And look at that fucking piece of paper again. That's all I can think of, man. Wasn't there a quick way, like, out over here? I bet somebody would sue these guys if they put one jump scare in this game. Cause you would shit everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. I think it's full battery, I don't know. I'm trying to fucking read it backwards is not easy. Let's go up here. Okay, back out here. Down here, I'm trying to remember. The map's not really helping anymore. So many fucking secrets to this house. Down to the left. Just like Beyonce said. Over here. And then, you know, where the fuck was I? I think I was all the way back. If not, I was pretty close to all the way back. Gotta be more shit on this side of the house that I've missed. I sent this phone from Barcelona. Nice. Hey mom, dad, and Sam. I've been I've had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Dad and Sam, I think you would like the gaudy architecture. It's a change it's a strange alien world. I'm headed for my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I am running low on money. I will look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. Can't wait to see you all home again. See you soon. Love, Katie. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. I don't know what comes next. And I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Harsh. Oh, there's no other way under the stair unless this is it right here? What? You said under the stairs. Is there another set of stairs? Oh, right here, okay. There, see you guys in a second. This clip is ending. I think we're gonna we're getting really close. Yes! See you soon. Now what do we got?
Possession and exorcism? What? What are you doing? Are you trying? I guess they were trying to like have a seance and get him in. To speak to him, I guess. What's this? The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Shit! Now I'm gonna be all odd sit situated in the vagina when I talk to you. God damn it! I try to stay centered, but I get so into the games. I really do. It's a testament to how good they are, though. Okay. I'm so fucking nervous and excited. Like I, I almost feel like this girl, man. I love it. I love this. I'm not saying I feel like a girl. Shut up. Stay strong. I love you, Lonnie. Sam, I'll always remember what we had. Kick ass. I said yes. Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. And Lonnie in my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't she couldn't think of anything but me and us. And that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. So why doesn't it seem to be the end? Uh-oh. Whew! This is powerful shit. Now what we got here? This is gonna be wasted on a lot of people. That's sad. Here we go. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself, but I hope as you read this journal and you think back that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam. Nice! I like that, man. She pursued her, she followed her heart, and she did what she had to do. I, I really love this story, but so many closed-minded people, this is gonna be wasted on. That sucks, man. This is this was a great story. I love how beautiful. How the hell did they piece it all together so well? Like they even had the details of when you're Sarah Grayson. I love your voice. Great job, girl. Her voice actress was awesome. Her voice. She was awesome. <laughs> Her voice actress. Yeah, dude, I really like this. It's just so cool. You could feel the emotion in the letters. This, this could have this had to be a real story they just changed the names and then they just took a family maybe someone from the the development team fucking awesome 
I liked it a lot. I really didn't get a trophy either. What the hell? Wonder what it considers trophyable in this. I I wanted to see the experience. I liked it. I got, I'm gonna be honest. The parents were dull as shit. I didn't really like them, but I love learning about Sam and her uncle and Katie. Damn it! I drank too much coffee too quick. I love learning about those characters. I, I really did. I don't know how they did this. She went home, but not to that home. That's awesome. Okay. That's why she said, don't tell anyone, and wow. Cats, goddamn. Goddamn. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking cats. Where's dogs? Horse shit. Yeah, thanks for making it. That was cool. Now I get to go watch some other people play and see what they took from it and what they found. And that's what I really like about this type of stuff. I really resonated with that character, man. I grew up in a haunted house before. I, I'm in one now. <laughs> what am I getting? I could resonate with her. I liked her a lot. She reminded me of someone close to my heart. Rest in peace, sweetheart. But yeah, she did. I'm not trying to bring people down, but... It was awesome. I really liked it. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Please, like, subscribe, share, everything. I want to know your thoughts, your opinions on this. Uh, try not to be closed-minded. Gone home, silver trophy earned. I, I don't want to hear, oh, they're gay, oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear any homophobic bullshit. All right? Look at the story as the story in and of itself. Did you like the story? Quit being so damn closed-minded. People are who they are. You're not perfect either. But I'm not trying to start a damn debate. I just... I get fired up about that shit. I, I keep thinking my whole life, you know, discrimination's gone, and I, I don't know. For me, I don't see color. Like when I'm hanging out with my black friends, I'm like, eh. Well, when I'm hanging out with my gay friends, I don't see gay people. You know, I don't see that. I just see people. Like, I, I don't understand why more people aren't like that. But I don't know. I, I wish the discrimination would go away, but at the same time. If it didn't, life wouldn't be where it is. I, I truly believe, like, without the Holocaust and those fucked up events, we wouldn't be where we are today. You know? Something worse probably would have happened. Because people didn't let out all their stupid hatred. It's just life. It's a part of it. It sucks. But I really love the story, and I'm sorry to bring everyone down. I hope you have a wonderful week. And let me know your thoughts on this one. This is a very interesting project. Wow. Cool.